the poor queen. After a dismal week, during which her annual lunch for her extended family and her usual festive migration to Sandringham, was axed in a dismal month, during which her son and heir's cash for honors scandal hotted up, she's received more bad news. This also comes after a dismal year, which saw her lose her husband of 73 years and watch the institution she has devoted her life to, be eviscerated in front of a global TV audience of 60 million. Overnight it was revealed that her granddaughter-in-law and bane of ardent monarchists everywhere Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex could get caught up in the legal quagmire surrounding Prince Andrew with lawyers for the royal's accuser now saying they are considering deposing her. However, a new photo of this year's Christmas Day speech from the Queen reveals a secret message in which she's wearing. Unlike previous years, when she has had many pictures of her family around her, it is the sole image. Details of her speech emerged as Harry and Meghan released the first picture of her great-granddaughter Lilibet, also the Queen's pet name as a child. The Queen will reflect on the loss of beloved husband Prince Philip in her Christmas Day speech, with a photo of him by her side. It shows the pair recreating the honeymoon picture on their 60th anniversary. Sources say the Queen, 95, gives the most emotional and personal annual TV address of her near 70-year reign. A treasured brooch will also be worn by the Queen as a further touching tribute to Prince Philip when she delivers her Christmas Day speech. Her Majesty put on the sapphire chrysanthemum jewelry during her honeymoon in 1947 and at their 60th wedding anniversary. The framed photo of the couple in celebrating their diamond anniversary in 2007 appears on a desk beside her in the pre-recorded address to the nation. The monarch will reflect on the loss of her beloved husband in her first Christmas speech since his death at the age of 99 in April. Her romantic gestures come in a message which senior aides have described as particularly personal. A single image released by the Queen last night shows her resplendent in a Christmas red Angela Kelly wool shift dress as she filmed the speech at Windsor Castle around three weeks ago. Her honeymoon brooch was made with sapphires and diamonds in platinum and presented to her in 1946. Following her wedding in 1947, she proudly wore the brooch for a photo at Broadlands, Hans. It was on show again when she and Philip recreated the photo for their 60th anniversary. She also wore it last year on their 73rd and final anniversary at Windsor Castle. Ingrid Seward, author of The Queen's Speech, said, It is incredibly unusual for the Queen to be personal in her Christmas speech. Normally, it is a message about Christmas and about the Church and all the wonderful things that the country and Commonwealth has done over the past year. She often mentions the key news events and any disasters but it is never personal and about her. Maybe this time she will speak about Prince Philip and even talk about how her husband was a pioneer with environmental causes, coming in a year where we had COP26 in Glasgow. If it is particularly personal then she will likely speak about Prince Philip but I would be very surprised if she spoke about herself. Philip used to help her write the speeches and this will be the first time he isn't there to do it. It was yesterday announced that the Queen has agreed to hold a service of thanksgiving to honour Prince Philip at Westminster Abbey in the British Spring, although no date has been finalised. Palace sources revealed it will be timed near the first anniversary of his death.